Now, from the studios of Into Tomorrow in Miami, this is ITTV. We're back. Welcome, tech fans. I'm Dave Graveline. Just returned from Las Vegas, and we hope you enjoyed the coverage from the Autodesk University. We learned a lot and hope you enjoyed AU as much as we did. In case you missed any of it, guess what? It's all available on our website at graveline.com or intotomorrow.com. Be sure to check out the video interviews and our show highlights as well. Moving on, Rob will be joining us with a pretty cool Bluetooth speaker system today. But first, it's Chris Graveline with his ever popular This Week in Tech History. This week in 1854, Philadelphia residents were amazed as the first street cleaning machine was put into operation. A series of brooms attached to a cylinder mounted on a cart was turned by a chain driven by the turning of the cart's wheels. This week in 1953, following an earlier decision that favored CBS TV, the Federal Communications Commission changed opinions and decided to approve RCA's color television specifications. Guess who benefited the most? That's right, NBC, then the parent company of RCA. NBC stations soon took the lead in displaying programs, quote, presented in living color. 1957, Shipping Port Atomic Power Station in Pennsylvania was the first commercial central electric generating station in the United States to use nuclear energy. It started producing juice this week, feeding electricity into the grid for the Pittsburgh area. In 1976, WTCG-TV in Atlanta, Georgia, owned by Ted Turner, changed call letters to WTVS and was uplinked via satellite to become the first commercial TV station to cover the entire U.S. And way back in 1903 this week, the first successful powered airplane flight took place near Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. First Orville, then Wilbur Wright kept their invention flying. Each flight lasted just under one minute. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History. Thanks, Chris. That makes 105 years since flight was first discovered. And this week on Into Tomorrow, the radio show, we're talking with Jay Spencer, the author of this book, The Airplane, How Ideas Gave Us Wings. It's now time for our Into Tomorrow product spotlight for this week. Rob's checking out an interesting Bluetooth speaker system. Thanks, Dave. Here's a cute little portable speaker from Altec Lansing that we really like and have given several away on the air. But that's not what we're talking about today. Here is the InMotion Soundblade wireless speaker system from Altec Lansing for mobile phones. It's wireless in the sense that it connects via Bluetooth to your cell phone. At first glance, you'll think it's just a speaker for music playing, but they've added an extra feature. You can make and receive phone calls, therefore using it as a hands-free speaker phone. Make sure your phone is Bluetooth enabled and A2DP compatible, meaning high fidelity audio can be streamed from one Bluetooth device to another one. Older cell phone models may not work, so check before you buy. The pairing process was pretty simple. As soon as you turn the speaker on for the first time, it's set to search for devices. That was convenient. Here we paired it with the new BlackBerry Storm from Verizon and worked great. Once you've paired it, you're done. Call quality is pretty good. The microphone is here on the top side with other controls. The closer you are to it, the better, of course, but you don't necessarily have to be up close like this. I wish I could say the same thing for the music playback. I found it a bit tinny at times, needing more bass depending on what I was listening to. The louder the song, the worse it got. I guess it's okay at a moderate level if you're using it at work, but if you want to listen at home or in a large room, it may not be for you. I love the design and how thin it is, but was disappointed with the playback. Sorry, Altec. Back to the controls on the top side, I only had to use the volume control. You pretty much control the speaker with your cell phone. I recommend you keep the volume on your phone set to about half full or half empty for a better listening experience. The InMotion Soundblade speaker system is available for around 100 bucks online. We'll link you to their website for more info at graveline.com. For now, here's Dave. Thanks, Rob. Hopefully they'll improve the sound quality a bit, but it is pretty. Are you having trouble deciding what to buy your family and friends this holiday season? Well, your Into Tomorrow friends, that's me and my elves, have compiled a special list with our most wanted gifts for you. Check out the Into Tomorrow Santa blog brought to you by TigerDirect.com and Microsoft at Graveline.com or Intotomorrow.com if you're not already there. And we want to know your gift suggestions, too. While you're there, send your emails to Santa. We'll read some on the air, qualifying you for some early Christmas prizes. 
It's for kids of all ages, so enjoy it. Well, that does it for another ITTV update for this week. We'll see you next week right here on Into Tomorrow.